Hello mates, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am here in Fall Guys, and I'm here to help you to qualify every time on this map. I'm here to help you to get better on this map, and to no longer struggle on this map, to always qualify on this map. This map is of course, the real work. My goal is to help you to qualify every time on this map to help you qualify every time on this map and to no longer have a feel of going to this map and maybe not qualifying i will help you to qualify every time on this map and i will show you the best safe and fast way to qualify onto this map first i'll show you how i do this i should do i'll show you how i be able to qualify first i'll show you that i'm gonna just wait wait a good second and I just, I'm going to just let people go ahead of me. Yes, I'm going to let people go ahead of me because I have confidence that I will be able to go to the end of this map and qualify. And I just went past the first section very fast. This is the second section. And be careful about it. Don't stumble too much. And go on through the second section still. And I just... Be safe about it, go around things, and the end of the second session, there we go, now on to the third section, and this one is one of the most difficult sections, but I will show you how to do this one, I go the safe route, the safe way, and do everything safe, and make sure I'll be able to land on every platform, and not to stumble, or fall, and to the finish line, and there we go. That's pretty much it. I will explain it right now. Like I said before, this map has been to three sections, and I'll tell you how to go to each section with my techniques, and the techniques will be safe and easy. First, let's just see what are the section. So the first section here is the spinning one, the spinning sweeper. Second section is the three fans that you have to go through, and the last section is oh, there you go. You can see it, the last section. The big windmill plus the sweeper. That is the last session and that is the hardest one. The easiest one is the middle. The beginning is where well, you could get stumbling a lot, but let's do the beginning first. So how to do the beginning session. Where to go and what to do. So this technique is pretty difficult to do to master, but this will help you. I'm here to do it fast, but also safe. So here we go, with the sweep ball, the technique is just to get hit by it. So you want to go to the edge of it, and to not get down, you want to jump, but at the very moment, if you go too late, you get hit. If you go too early, you jump over it. What you want to do is just to hit it at the exact point where you don't stumble. You see me, I'm stumbling on the sail. But that is kind of advanced. What I want you to do is just to actually just get hit by it you will go launching through the skies like there you go right there and where you want to go with the sweeper is you want to go the sweeper going towards the inside like towards the you know towards the end of it like that's where you want to really go towards the sweeper this technique is really good for if you're falling behind or you forgot that the game started and you just get a little bit more forward just get hit by the people and you get launched forward like that <laughs> there you go of course you don't need to do this technique but this is a good technique if you're falling behind or you are going to for the world record on this map then use it but if not you don't have to but this is a good safe way it's your stumbling but you're moving forward when you stumble so there you go i would recommend this technique of course you could just don't use it and you just continue on your way but this is a good technique very safe and also very quick to do too but also there is a technique that you don't stumble but you can see you're doing it sometimes it is pretty hard to do I just recommend just get hit by it and just move on your way and there you go so that is the first section and now let's go to the second section so this second section is the windmill and the first thing you want to do is get on the treadmill. The treadmill will make you go faster. Then you jump on the yellow block and then the blue one. Right, there we go. You want to go jump after jump. 
and that's pretty much it for that. So when you get to the windmill, when it pass, you go. As soon as it went past, you just go ahead. And this section is very easy. Go between the windmills and just go past the hammer if you do have it. Most likely you don't. For this one, same thing. But when you're on the windmill, you wait. When you pass, you go. And now this is the third section. And the third section is the scariest section to do. It is real. Most people will not make it. They will not qualify because they keep falling off the map or don't have enough time to go through it. I will teach you the safe way to do it and fast way. So here we go. The safe way and fast way is always go to the side. Do not go to the middle. The middle is just too unpredictable and random. Do not go to the middle. Always go to the side to be safe. And there we go. But how to go fast and safe on the sides is to for the first people, I would jump over the first people. It's a bit faster and instead of going left and right, just jump over it and just go ahead. For the second people, go to the edge of it and go to the next people. The next people, the third one, jump over it and there you go. The last one is a bit difficult. Sometimes when the windmill is a good position, you may go. If it's not a good position, you have to hang back a little bit. And where I would do it is by the base of the people. When you see what pass, when you see an opening, there you go. The reason I do that is because you can see the sweeper and see the rim at the same time. And that's basically it. And that's how you can't fly in the real rig every time. So the next time you see this map, you will be ready and use my techniques. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.